Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking a look at yet another 3D printer filament that I've had and I've printed some stuff with. So, um, we're going to start out by looking at the packaging and talking about uh, some of the settings I used. And then we're going to look at some prints that I have already printed with it. And you can be the judge on how good it looks. So, uh, the box is actually quite decorated. There's... Um, some writing on the side, let's see, ultra smooth technology, yeah, I think that um, most of this seems to be, you know, fairly true and not, uh, not all, you know, exaggerated, you know, I can't really tell, <laughs> materials are purely grown and made in the USA, um, I don't know about that, I, guess, I mean, I guess that's possible, um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, I didn't have any problems with printing it. My printer, it was vacuum sealed. So, yeah, those appear to be pretty reasonable claims. Of course, you have this window at the top like you do at most 3D printer bo filament boxes. Um, some QR codes, I guess that's probably to follow them or on those different social media sites. The bottom's pretty boring. Uh, so let's go ahead and take it out. So as I mentioned, it does come in this vacuum sealed bag, as uh, most filaments do. I've already opened it, obviously, because how else would I have printed with it? So I'll go ahead and take it out of the vacuum sealed bag. <clears throat> Typical, pretty thick vacuum sealed bag. Um, there, it does come with a card in the middle telling you what temperature to print it at, but that's basically normal PLA temperatures. Although from my experience. Going more towards the 220 side might be your best option because it seems like there are some issues with uh, layer adhesion at some of the lower temperatures. So I would print closer to 220 on that. Um, moving on, so I got the silver, of course, um, and I'll show you why in a minute. It does come with uh, this fancy little clip that is also 3D printed. That's kind of interesting um, that the filament goes in and it clips to the side that's pretty handy i wonder if they have the files on the internet for that that'd be useful um so anyway i mean it's just general uh pla it doesn't seem to be any weaker than any normal pla it's not incredibly brittle but uh as you can see i just broke it so it is pretty it's it's fairly brittle not quite so much as some of the other ones that i've um printed with but still pretty much just your regular brittle pla um I don't know, we'll go ahead and take a look at the tolerances, that see what they claim versus what it actually is. Uh, it doesn't seem to have a tolerance marking on here, but I would imagine it's fairly good good tolerance. I haven't had an issue with it. Um, you know, the, the spool looks pretty nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and check the tolerances real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to some of the stuff that I've printed with it thus far. So we'll go ahead and take my my caliper here. This is a pretty cheap one, but it should give us should give us an idea of about how accurate this is. So that's 171 there, so that's a bit thin there. It's 174 there. 171 there. 174 there we'll check again here 172 so it seems to be fairly consistent and the it's the tolerances seem to be all right i certainly don't see like huge gashes in the prints from from you know like you'd see a really bad tolerance filament so um all in all i think it prints pretty well i'll go ahead and show you some of the prints that i've already done with it um so first up is the nozzle for my solder pump solder sucker whatever you want to call it um, I'll go, I haven't made a video about this yet, but the files for this will be available at some point. Um, look for the video on that. So, you know, it, it's pretty silvery. <laughs> I, I don't really know what else to say about it. I mean, the color looks pretty good, so this is a, a miniature helmet. Again, the files will be available for this once I make a video of it. I mean, the quality seems pretty good. Uh, there is a couple little things, but... Honestly, I don't think that's the filament's fault, but it looks it looks pretty good, and it is a relatively good silver. It's closer to a gray, I think, than necessarily a silver, but, you know, whatever you're looking for. It does look about the same on camera as it looks in person, in my opinion. Um, then I also have my personal cooler. If you want the files for this, there is a video on my channel. I'll try to put the link in the description. So... 
again, it's it's pretty close to what you would expect. If we look at the filament versus the actual finished print, they're pretty close in color. So I would give the color a pretty good rating. I mean, it's silver, pretty self-explanatory. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it works for what I got it for, and uh, I will make it clear they did not send this to me. I bought this with my own money, so not a not a big deal if you're concerned about. Uh, me being sponsored or something by them i'm not uh, i but i think that their filament is pretty good and i probably will buy more of their filament in the future so anyway i would definitely recommend this i would recommend printing on the high side and also maybe since it seems to be a little undersized um turning the flow up just a little bit anyway thank you guys so much for watching and have a very nice day